and I guess specifically what certain issues are um, of importance that we, sh that we need to be looking at. I did an article on this two weeks yes. ago. Uh, and, uh, Jackie Ayer did a good job. I think the difference is Atkin, they want to turn into some kind of hub. And us, we want to be an open uh, They want to keep us open right. space. Right, but we are so different than Atkin. We I don't know. have a I transportation corridor over there. We don't have a metro link that runs through our town. We don't have the 14 freeway that really runs through the town. So it. Our concerns are different than Acton's concerns. That's what I. That's why I said that. An SB one, protect which is a new bill they're signing in. You just have to read that because that kind of will protect Albuquerque too. So. No, well, an SB I, I, I hate SB one. I hate anything that says sustainable. I think it's a whacked out program. But it's falling in suit with the CSD. Pretty much. <laughs> it, it, it's to get everybody down in the city, to keep the rural areas rural, and but they are trying to turn Acton into some kind of transportation hub because the train station is there, the freeway goes through there, so that that's what they're trying to do all across the country. Steve, Mr. Yeah. Uh, I share I share a little bit of your concern with the, the art quite thorough. Couldn't we somehow uh, go on record, either with the county or something, that to our understanding, our CSD supersedes, blah, 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 because we're going to really be addressing this throughout the next 18 months. They could come back and, and slap us in the face if we're not on record. And with it being on record, then, then they have to reply to it as it being one way or the other, wouldn't they? You know, and then we would be on record that on, on matters of development, the CSD takes precedent over the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, we, uh, so kind of things, things like that. One of the things that I like about the active approach is that they want density, they want everything to match. They want the general plans and the area-wide plans to say the same things. And but that's have, the whole purpose of having different plans is so that you don't have to manage no. that the, the LA County is the general plan. Then we fall under OBOB, which is a little bit more specific on some of our rural stuff. And then our CSD is specifically towards our community. So I think if there's inconsistency, that's good. I want inconsistency because I don't want to be part of the metropolitan LA County, part of LA County code. It's, it's just the same as any other code. It, it has just as much power as any other code in that document. That's why I just saw it. Does it have more exactly. power than, than the other code if, if there's a difference in the two codes? Absolutely. It does have more power. That's what I'm saying. We need, we need to. And, and it's in the ordinance. In, 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 not in our or specific ordinance, but in the. Um, ordinance that describes what supplemental districts are, which that's where the CSD is, is a supplemental district. It says, if there is a difference, the CSD or the supplemental district will take precedence. Okay. Well, exactly. So that, that, I think, will be pretty darn well protected. If there's something specific within the general plan that is so egregious to us that we need to address it, I'm, I'm more than open to hear it, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> They didn't have an OBOB. They just had the general plan. And then I don't know, did they have an on all say area or what did they have besides the general plan? Did they have anything at all like the OBOB? Yes. They had what the San Fernando Valley general plan. Okay. But and that's what was updated with OBOB. Okay. All right. And that's when they began to describe rural. Isn't that when, uh, I'm trying to think of, the guy that came out and broke around with you around here, right. and then went out. He was uh, actually general plan. CSD, CSD revision was approved by the board of supervisors in the board. So we had to get some uh, last minute changes in, uh, but they got done, and it's law. It's law. It's in the books. Yeah. I'm always going to say. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. But um, a big thanks.
thanks goes to the original CSD committee, ours, the CSD committee that, that worked on it, and really every town council from the time we got started on it was, was supportive of it and um, did everything they could to get the community's goal moved forward. So it, a, a, it was a real group effort to get it going. So. It took about 12 years? I think I think it was originally started in 1998. I think okay. Donna Softly started in 1998, and um, then they had given it to the town council and it kind of sat dormant there for a while. And then um, back in 2005, uh, we said let's finish this off. And from 2005 to 2000. So only 16 years, so we didn't want to rush into it. Well, I will have to say, if there's been a document that has been vetted, yeah. this has been vetted. Now we need to help them come out and tell us what the value is in. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, thank you again. I appreciate you. So I'd like to know, because it's important to the election committee that they know where the boundaries are. So was that boundary where Lillian is redrawn? And can we get a map that's much clearer than what's attached to the CSD? I, I can go out and get you a copy and show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, um, I believe once um, it gets put into the county system, which I believe is March 19th, you'll be able to go onto the regional planning website and um, do the, the um, yes, they have that there now. Right, and it will be corrected to show the new boundary. Okay.